All right, so in this series, we're going to talk about proteoglycans, glycosaminoglycans, and glycoprotein. So here, we'll just introduce them. So let's start off with proteoglycans. So what are they? Well, they are kind of what they sound like. They are glycans with proteo, okay? So um, basically, they're mostly carbs with some protein, right? They are glycans, but they've got some proteo, okay? So they are mostly carbs, mostly carbohydrates, plus some protein component okay so the basic structure specifically is a bunch of heteropolysaccharide chains specifically called glycosaminoglycans glycosaminoglycans uh, plus a core protein and they're also sometimes link proteins okay um, glycosaminoglycans um, are also just abbreviated as GAG, right, GAGs, uh, or MPSs, uh, or uh, mucopolysaccharides, okay? Uh, they used to be called mucopolysaccharides due to uh, their presence in mucal secretions, okay? Um, and as far as the characteristics of these heteropolysaccharide chains, we should know some of them. Um, these heteropolysaccharide chains, hetero meaning different, poly referring to many, saccharide meaning sugar, so, they are, are long chains of sugars, okay? Um, and they are linear, they are unbranched, okay? Um, they're often very negatively charged uh, and they contain a repeating disaccharide unit, okay? And so um, the, the, these are just the, heter the, the glycosaminoglycans. And so um, these glycosaminoglycans are connected to a core protein and oftentimes there are link proteins as well. Um, so a proteoglycan's structure looks kind of like a bottle brush, quote unquote, or, or a test tube cleaner. Or if you guys have straws at home that, uh, that are reusable, a lot of times they look something like this. They're, where This portion represents uh, this little rod-like structure here is uh, the core protein. And um, these, uh, the portions in white there are the glycosaminoglycans. Those are the linear uh, heteropolysaccharides. All right, so there's a bunch of different sugars uh, connected to each other. Uh, in these repeating disaccharide units, they're very negatively charged. We'll talk more about um, their uh, their kind of st structure and function relationship later once we learn a little bit more about this stuff. But uh, uh, as far as generally what their functions are, what proteoglycans functions are, um, is that they are a major component of the extracellular matrix. The extracellular matrix, sometimes just abbreviated as ECM. Okay. Um, and so the extracellular matrix and, and really these uh, proteoglycans, which of course contain these glycosaminoglycans, they're meant for uh, structural support for cells and tissues, and they're also important in cell cell communication and adhesion. Okay, so that's generally what's going on with uh, proteoglycans. Now, what about glycoprotein?